Well, yeah, with a proudly South African scarf on is Dave Duarte. Dave, my friend Lewis Pugh said I had to look you up. Okay, very good. Thanks, Lewis. Lewis is an incredible guy. And uh, he's, he's been to Davos before, have you? Uh, I haven't been to Davos. This is my first time. Uh, Lewis told me that he, he actually had significant results as, uh, from it and it contributed directly to the success he had in his campaigns. Mm. What are you doing? How did you get here? Uh, so I'm part of a program uh, with the World Economic Forum called the Young Global Leaders. And essentially it's a leadership development track of six years where we are matched and partnered with other leaders to create projects of impact. So this is partly I've been collaborating with Lewis on some of his environmental campaigns but also working with several of the very large multinational corporations here to shift the way that they do communications and marketing and stakeholder engagements. The YGL community is, uh, is, is global obviously, lots of smart younger people and uh, certainly will help you in your future life but what have you learned from this particular meeting that you can take back home? Mm. This meeting, the, the, the tone of this meeting for me has been very much aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The opening speech by the Chinese president spoke uh, and, and mentioned uh, the need to have free trade, uh, the need to be aware of uh, the environment as we do business. And many of the business leaders are saying in response to all of the market instability, we need to grow trust in brands by looking at how we can have sustainable impact beyond just the financial. That, that, that's nice, but the elephant in the room is Donald Trump, who's going to yep. be moving into the White House, or has probably already moved into the White yep. House today, and he takes a very different view. If anything, this is galvanizing the business community, as well as the leaders across sectors, to say that more than ever before, we need to come together to create impact in everything that we do. We can no longer count on governments to do it for us. Yeah, um, from a South African perspective? This is more relevant than ever before. We've got one of the highest unemployment rates in the world. Uh, we also have our own issues and questions around our own government. And uh, private-public partnerships will not only be uh, good for our society, but good for business too. Uh, we know that businesses that are aligned with sustainability are more likely to have more brand loyalty. They're likely to attract and retain better talent, and they're more likely to be on the right side of shifting policy. Would you describe yourself as a millennial? <laughs> Uh, by, by definition, anyone born after 1980 is a millennial, so by nef definition I am. But I'd, uh, I'd like to include in that anyone of any age who's optimistic as I am about the state of improvement in the world. I'm not an ageist. I'd, I'd include people like we've found uh, uh, Klaus Schwab as an old global leader. So he's a millennial as yeah, well. We'll, we'll give it, We're we'll all give millennials it to, today, you know what, except if you're, Donald Trump. Oh, well, <laughs> if you were born in the last millennium, you're still alive and you're still optimistic, mm. you, you qualify. Yeah. But the millennials are really changing the world. You... Um, they are. So there's actually a lot of science that says that uh, you know the, the name to be honest is a little bit of hogwash it's uh, it's a uh, excuse the panel <laughs> it's um, i've never heard that one before <laughs> um, Actually, it's, it's quite an Americanism, so uh, ge generational theory says that what happens to you when you're around 11 years old determines your political, social uh, uh, and engagement outlooks for life. So whether you're uh, what was happening for us in South Africa when we were 11 is probably quite different to what was happening for people in Syria or the US or the UK when they were 11. So we've got to look at generational theory in our own context. And to be honest, in South Africa, I'm not sure if the term applies. But certainly in the Western world, things are changing. People are more optimistic. Yep. They're getting more worried about the way the world is, uh, is being destroyed yep. by older yep. generations. And even in China, as you said. Yep. So uh, the Edelman uh, Communications Consultancy came out with the Global Trust Barometer, a very trusted index, and it shows that actually optimism and trust in institutions and brands is at an all-time low. So if we're going to engage with this, we really need to stop paying lip service uh, to change the restitution of inequality and all the, uh, the issues that we create, and we actually need to engage. We need to get down to it. Dave Duarte is from South Africa. He's a young global leader at the World Economic Forum, and this special video podcast was brought to you by BrightRock.